Шановні колеги, Dear colleagues, please uh, uh, be to your attention and we will start. Uh, hello to all participants of our conference, uh, dear partners, uh, dear colleagues, uh, friends, uh, and uh, they invited. Um, I uh, greet you very sincerely um, uh, in uh, Rivna Oblast uh, Council, um, Rivna Regional Hospital for War Veterans, and I'm very happy that uh, this uh, international uh, and scientific and practical uh, conference um, uh, of the patient of a uh, neurological aspect of uh, uh, SCI patients uh, and um, and this is the first uh, conference <coughs> and I'm very uh, thankful to you that uh, that you are here and uh, I uh, thank you to everyone who is uh, present here with, uh, in our conference and uh, Mm, I wish you all uh, fruitful uh, uh, day and uh, successful work. Yeah, no. Thank you very much. Um, and in every uh, country, the war, and in the countries with war, it was as a, a pusher for rehabilitation. And uh, also in our country, uh, the first uh, substantial push was uh, 2014, at the beginning of the war with Russia. And now the full uh, um, acceleration is a full-scale invasion. And uh, the, pol the policy of uh, Ministry of Health, we, uh, so we, we don't invent a, a Ukrainian bicycle. We look at uh, the best uh, practices and the recommendations and by the World Health Organization and uh, our approach is that in every cluster and uh, multi-cluster uh, uh, hospitals there should be a rehabilitation stationary fixed uh, department uh, and uh, the, the point is uh, to make these uh, services uh, affordable for the patients. Uh, but uh, when we say that we don't want to build uh, many uh, specific uh, um, rehabilitation centers, but we have uh, some uh, mm, exclusions uh, uh, when we speak about spinal cord injuries. Uh, so when we uh, speak about these, uh, these are things, we need to think about those who are the most uh, vulnerable before whom the state has the biggest uh, duty. So when we speak about the uh, SCI uh, wounded, uh, uh, so these are who, who need the most uh, of our attention. So last uh, year we uh, had a session here and we saw and we analyzed and we had uh, the idea of this uh, Mm, understanding that as a heavy patient nobody wanted to take uh, him so so because every patient was paid uh, equally so as, as a patient with uh, some pain in the back and uh, SCI patient uh, so the protection is why should they take uh, the heavy patients and I was uh, speaking with uh, with um, 
with GE uh, Van Vici, I cannot uh, find the uh, 100 uh, um, uh, beds because uh, they are too heavy. So we asked you all, and we asked you, and we tell you just uh, split uh, the diagnosis in three categories. So those uh, you want don't want to take at all. First category, uh, those uh, dubious. Uh, second, uh, those who want, uh, those who you wanted to take, and. Um, and uh, third category. So we uh, split them in the three categories and we said we pay different money, the most money for the first category and so on. So now we change uh, the approach and uh, for the for the SCI patient, uh, the state uh, pays uh, the most. And now we have uh, even today uh, the complaints in the Western Ukraine uh, saying that uh, we don't understand uh, uh, why we don't have enough uh, uh, heavy patients because they are left somewhere else already but uh, our task is uh, to make that uh, this patient uh, should be uh, treated uh, with rehabilitation in adequate uh, way um, she, he should not uh, stay there with pressure ulcers and uh, uh, not have enough uh, appropriate uh, patients. So this is a uh, routine and uh, training. And this conference as today uh, has uh, the aim as uh, to understand uh, how we need uh, to um, work with these heaviest patients because it's our honor uh, duty that uh, they would not uh, rotten in uh, regional hospitals with some pressure ulcers and if you see that you don't know what to do and you understand that uh, somewhere some more adequate uh, treatment uh, can be given somewhere and uh, he should be transferred to such uh, places uh, like in Cleveland the veterans hospital and uh, another point uh, the, the leadership and uh, Mm, point. Uh, so why we have uh, the centers here in Cleman with uh, RCI for uh, uh, SCI patients? And because Andrei Ivanovich is uh, taking care even six or seven years ago, we were speaking w where we are doing this and where it is uh, um, developing. And the only reason uh, it, is it started uh, to build here because of the the manager is uh, appropriate and, and uh, the heads of department uh, they are appropriate and uh, our um, training center when where we train um, people for from the whole ukraine because they they um, they develop uh, other people in this way so my uh, uh, call for you to uh, cooperate don't uh, close yourself uh, and uh, somebody went uh, to Switzerland uh, to US uh, and you come back and uh, you exchange experience and we make our system grow so I call for you to to learn from each other we need to learn from a lot of things and uh, we need to accept this assistance from our foreign colleagues uh, for example I have a, a a German uh, professor who goes to Ukraine to to teach uh, for free. So every world, everyone in the world wants to, to help us and our protectors. So thank you. Thanks uh, sincerely for the good words and uh, the biggest uh, thanks uh, for support of the Minister of Health uh, to, in our cause. So uh, I invite uh, um, the head of uh, uh, Rivne State Civil and Military Administration, uh, Mr. Alexander Koval. Um, hello to all, and uh, I'm very happy and uh, big honor to see you all. Uh, thanks a lot to all organizers and partners, and uh, um, lots of uh, words were said uh, about um, this topic of this forum. But uh, uh, we would uh, we would say from the, from our position of uh, the um, authorities. First of all, really, Andrei Ivanovich is uh, the headline of this uh, event and his position is uh, the decisive and the spinal injury really it's a big respect uh, um, for him but uh, the construction which is going on this is where we are uh, we need to develop uh, this facility this is uh, the Advan advanced point of uh, Rivne, Rivne 
region and uh, even for the whole Ukraine because all conditions are here and uh, we are ready uh, to develop uh, to the complex rehabilitation, not a physical, not a spinal, but a, a small um, buildings where there is a family uh, rehabilitation. Employment, dialogue, veterans to everyone who undergoes rehabilitation today. This is minimum objective we set to ourselves today. We also expand the territory of hospital today. Recently, Andrei Ivanovich uh, visited with me. We have wonderful plans to expand and possible additional building within the territory of already expanded hospital. All of that is possible only due to this assistance. Assistance synergy we have from Ministry of Health, from World Health Organization, from our international partners, from people who care and really it inspires us all. This is one of the important topics today and definitely one of the m very crucial rehabilitation in Rivne. Today, almost 3,000 people went through such rehabilitation. Inpatient, outpatient, uh, 900 of them military personnel, 14 hospitals. We have rehabilitation packages, a wonderful practice from National Health Services of Ukraine, Ministry of Health, from the authorities, regional military administration. We are going to always support this facility. Uh, also, the floor will be uh, given to Regional Council, my colleague Rasm, which I think will mm, corroborate uh, those words. There was not a single time where we denied assistance or turned uh, uh, back to uh, this is the most important to us. And I'm convinced that during our efforts, will not only improve the level of rehabilitation and in particular about Rivna, we will show once again that regional hospital, uh, Village Cleven, is a place where really rehabilitation develops. I'm sincerely thankful to all and praise to Ukraine, praise to heroes. Thank you, Alexander Sergeyevich. And the floor is uh, given to first deputy of Rivne Regional Council, Mikola Kucharuk. Good uh, day, dear. Let me congratulate you with holiday today, day of Vishalanka. Uh, uh, embroidered uh, shirt is really genetic code of our nation and when we say genetics we understand right away that Ukrainians are a strong nation and we are heartfelt thankful in the first place to our doctors who work today in such difficult times with such severe injuries for your labor you provide you assist our people our military uh, personnel and our usual citizens uh, sincerely thanks to you and of course I would like to also thank and to tell on behalf of regional uh, council that both the Ministry of Health as well as military civilian administration also our department for uh, this uh, facility we uh, pay very much attention why uh, because it turned out that the hospital of a great patriotic war was uh, initially called, but at the time um, elapsed. It was created uh, thanks to Rivne community, and the first attack happened uh, 10 years ago in the territory of Ukraine, and the first uh, military uh, moved. Andriy Ivanovich with his team get down to business right away shown that you are specialists shown that you may work that you uh, may learn and here thanks to foreign partners I'm very thankful to you specialists arrive who want to help our warriors who want to teach our doctors and we receive with gratitude anything related to qualified assistance to be provided in this hospital and a good assistance. I would like to say us being deputies of regional council we communicate throughout the region very good feedback about our facility not only from military people regular people who got uh, into certain 
life problems, maybe some spinal cord injuries or something else, and they say, really, such rehabilitation, which is practiced now, hospital is nowhere else uh, they have visited uh, before. So I would like today to once again tell you that our today's uh, conference international uh, and today you're going to be at your professional uh, level providing some recommendations so today it will be one more step in order that our hospital to really become one um, step higher so success to all of you all the best praise to you you. Thank you, Mikola Rasmus. And the floor is given to Oleg Evsanik, uh, head of Department of uh, Healthcare and Civilian uh, Defense of the Regional Administration. Hello, friends. I'm very pleased to be uh, with professionals, uh, having the support of the authorities of all the levels. Uh, I'm convinced that we'll have good. Uh, results uh, we systemically together with world had organization overcome the problems in rehabilitation step by step and build wonderful new rehabilitation system rehabilitation is a difficult process not only social economic uh, all those aspects we need to combine to meet the common objective so that our people in the first place our military personnel to have this military assistance and so that rehabilitation services are provided with quality because our center is one of the seven centers uh, that the Ministry of Health suggests for different stages of rehabilitation with different kinds of injuries. So I'm convinced today that having this wonderful support, having those wonderful professionals and this uh, today meeting will give us new impetus for us to treat our patients. So we'll learn today, we'll work tomorrow and win. Praise to Ukraine. Praise to you. Thank you, Oleg Mikhailovich. Uh, the floor is given to Volodymyr Volod, WHO Rehabilitation. Good uh, day, dear colleagues. If you would give me a clicker. Okay. Good day. In the first place, I would like, on behalf of uh, WHO office, uh, country office from our representative Yarna Habik to congratulate you with the start of conference, to congratulate you with the Vishivanka. They were thankful to our local authorities who support the development of spinal and near rehabilitation. I would like to uh, underline that within three years, government of the United Kingdom supports this topical area, this center, and the support is going to be continued. You see on screen uh, visually what is uh, international uh, multidisciplinary rehabilitation team that was working here that was setting up the process international uh, specialist in ukrainian uh, delegation at the congress of um, uh, spinal um, cord um, in edinburgh the previous year just to visualize uh, several basic um, matters that you all know clearly i just would like to stress once again First off, we all know that rehabilitation is about a human being and about the environment. It cannot be separated. We all know that starting rehabilitation uh, investigation. Second question after, you know, the name, where you live, who you live with, what floor you live in, high rise, for instance. So everything relates to environment that person is to return after rehabilitation. Second point we have to clearly realize if we speak about up to day rehabilitation, main objective in the majority of cases is to bring the person back uh, to paid um, labor. Because all our talks about um, payback for rehabilitation calculations are very simple. One dollar invested into rehabilitation uh, returns with 60 USD uh, to the national economy. If person does not come back to uh, labor, uh, it does not work. And the third point, we are all participants in a very good process. I mean, developing our rehabilitation, we are to realize that our Ukrainian rehabilitation in contemporary dimension, contemporary rehabilitation is very young. Why? So, I will exemplify by several 
instances. As it was mentioned already, rehabilitation in the world develops everywhere uh, after some emergencies, be it wars, be it uh, disasters, uh, natural earthquakes or something. So the rehabilitation we may, conventionally um, speaking, look at and to take something useful. For instance, rehabilitation in uh, South America, Europe started after the Second World War a bit um, long ago, if we use our Ukrainian uh, metrics. Also, if we look at development of rehabilitation occupations, we all know that 2016 we introduced a uh, profession occupational therapist. Uh, 2015 we received first master program in Ukraine, complying to requirements of international organizations. However, I would like to draw attention to the fact that in 2018, Canadian program in occupational therapy celebrated its um, century anniversary. However, we move pretty fast uh, ahead because we have a war um, waged and we want to develop and within the five years we made a big and very good step in advance. I would like to underline this uh, person uh, among girls in white, uh, a doctor, founder of uh, occupational therapy in uh, University of Toronto, Dr. It was occupational therapist, um, started from doctors. You also know all the stories, how we started uh, developing fast before the full-scale invasion. The names were introduced in our rehabilitation professions, started developing specialization in physical rehabilitation medicine, started in 2018, uh, therapist, uh, profession changed. Uh, recently the prosthetics uh, or aesthetics uh, name appeared. The technical consultancy was uh, made uh, together with the WHO and International Physical Rehabilitation, uh, Occupational Medicine uh, that laid foundation to our activities uh, today. So um, uh, this is uh, in important for world community, for our Ukrainian community as well, and one of the revolutionary steps was introducing medical guarantees program, being a part of healthcare reforms. I would like to tell you by testimony of our colleagues we cooperate today in 2019, when the decision was made if the national health services are going to pay for rehabilitation medicine within the healthcare facilities, it was huge opposition. So the uh, National Health Services, it was understanding that there is no wish to uh, receive rehabilitation packages, to reimburse for such packages. Luckily, uh, we could convince colleagues from the National Health Services and this uh, process uh, was initiated. And you see, we are participants of this process, uh, many providers, and we are moving toward improving this uh, process and the fact that payment for rehabilitation within the healthcare facility is realities. Uh, it changed all the configuration on the landscape of rehabilitation assistance uh, in principle. We understand that the um, reference point of our contemporary rehabilitation system is 2020 when law of Ukraine was adopted on rehabilitation in healthcare. This is our reinforced concrete foundation uh, we move uh, in advance based on, you know, uh, provisions 2028, many others that uh, set norms to the process of uh, rehabilitation assistance. Also very important matter that Mr. Vasily Strink um, underlined the point we start extension. Rehabilitation is continuum, starting from acute rehabilitation period and ending in community. So we need to start from something. Luckily, we again have uh, political support that we had even before the full-scale invasion. Is a decree of our president from August 2021 that um, stressed that rehabilitation is to be made possible as soon as possible after the acute injury or disease commenced. You know, this uh, order and after that some changes to legislation happened. In particular, changes happened. Uh, cabinet of Ministers uh, provision was uh, made that uh, describes our 
capability network of healthcare facilities, component of a cluster, a super cluster. Doctors are mandatorily inpatient rehabilitation department that Mr. Vasily was also mentioning. This is our mandatory first steps higher from our foundation from WHO. We have two evaluations made uh, before the full scale invasion. One um, assessment was uh, made uh, during war. You may see they accumulate uh, within the information about rehabilitation system before and as is and uh, as is uh, we will have update on assessment to have information for our donors to move in advance one more message we are to clearly understand and that our country uh, keeps with at political level absolutely um, compliant to what is happening globally rehabilitation assistance is to be approximated as much as possible to the place of personal stay of an individual so the person shouldn't go to other region of Ukraine to get uh, some continuous rehabilitation with some exceptions this uh, should be um, available for a person where he or she permanently resides and based on that you know that rehabilitation is about routing is about uh, stages of providing assistance we all understand that assistance is to start in acute rehabilitation period and uh, we know that as of now we have order about the uh, rehabilitation routes list of um, health conditions that were indicated in this uh, order was uh, by advice of our colleagues from the headquarters uh, those are uh, health conditions uh, classical usually during any wars it does not matter be it ukraine gaza or other uh, country but standard list um, spinal cord injuries uh, brain injuries amputations uh, burns uh, difficult skeletal uh, injuries i would like to say this is here to this list we will add a um, stroke because uh, war does not um, cancel um, strokes in communities which are usual thing at any uh, period of time and on the one hand they should have centralized route relating to the uh, spinal cord injuries and uh, burn injuries related to uh, patients or to get to facilities with the maximum expertise uh, knowledge uh, skills competences in order to fastest safest uh, the most professional uh, get uh, rehabilitation assistance and decentralization routes uh, this is about uh, assistance to be provided as close to the place of stay of the patient so patient shouldn't go from Dnipro to Lutz to get uh, prosthesis uh, the person is to service prosthesis uh, where he or she lives everyone has the dentist uh, ladies have the gynecologist they visit regular the same about the uh, prosthetics orthotics uh, specialist that the uh, person meets uh, regularly if there is a problem of amputation and uh, duly you see that all the activities of government or the activities of a country are aimed at promoting the system of course it cannot happen just one two three you see information from our Ministry of Health as of uh, February this year that there is still uh, so to say possibility to advance uh, more all the facilities uh, cluster uh, super uh, cluster uh, meaning multi disciplinary uh, so to say the impetus is uh, there and the work continues uh, additional to that ministry of health initiated with partners jointly with the WHO with the colleagues from Swiss Agency for Development within the project uh, rehabilitation of war injuries uh, initiated the project the centers of excellence what centers of excellence are um, um, departments in uh, non-specialized uh, healthcare facilities that provide the best possible rehabilitation assistance in countries uh, their objective is to scale up to teach uh, teams uh, uh, 
uh, more colleagues join and most important that this experience is scaled up. No one learns at universities how to work as a multidisciplinary team. No one teaches in universities how to cooperate verbally, non-verbally with the healthcare providers in the healthcare facilities, how to start being friends uh, with them, how to int uh, introduce uh, what problems may happen when you introduce data to electronic system. You may argue, fight uh, after that and so on, but this is life and this is experience that we all may face and which should be understandable. That's uh, the purpose we have those centers of excellence for. In terms of spinal cord injuries, statistics is uh, Mr. Vasil, if I'm wrong, tell me that I'm wrong. What we have basically from Ministry of Health as of October 2003, we have 600 new uh, injuries of spinal cord and information as of June. Mm, sorry, for April uh, this year, as uh, of um, uh, 1st April, 203 patients uh, are in uh, facilities, uh, 133 of them, uh, they are there for more than six months. Uh, so this is the story, uh, what we have with uh, fresh uh, statistics and um, and the decision on development of the network of uh, uh, with SCI is, uh, um, was uh, together with SCI International uh, uh, Society. Uh, it was decided at 2022, and we calculated uh, um, how many beds we need uh, in Ukraine. And uh, at that time, um, we spoke about uh, and the perspective. Uh, of uh, about uh, 350 specialized bed, so rehabilitation center here, region five uh, regional centers: Kiev, uh, Dnipro, Odessa, Lviv, and uh, um, Kharkiv. So you see Odessa and uh, Kharkiv in, uh, in Lviv. Uh, this process is moving, and uh, Kiev and Dnipro are moving in standby mode. But uh, what was the requirement to this location? So, uh, so for spinal uh, injury, um, the patients are well paid, um, but every hospital wants them, but uh, the expertise is required. So, the so we have uh, a, a partner in uh, Cleveland. Um, is a smaller a small hospital in the Odessa re region, um, which nobody know. But um, if we look at uh, one big uh, multidisciplinary uh, hospital, if you come there and, uh, and tell them, give us uh, 50 beds, and you can imagine the faces of the managers. But uh, besides, uh, there should be rehabilitation uh, possibilities. Uh, Mm, they should have um, a wheelchair a workshop. Um, there should be an orthesic laboratory, and um, because this, this is the spinal um, department, uh, the, the will, there should be um, first uh, to first uh, contact, uh, and um, there should be a possibility to, to continue uh, supervision in the community. And um, so you see, we speak about the infrastructure, and then we will go to the staff. <coughs> but before going to the staff, um, this is a Great Britain. In Great Britain, they had, uh, they have uh, about uh, 67 uh, million people, and uh, they have 488 uh, stationary uh, specialized uh, uh, beds uh, for, uh, for spinal cord injuries. So in Great Britain, they receive about a thousand uh, trauma um, of uh, uh, big uh, SCIs. Uh, if we uh, extrapolate on Ukraine, so we have, we divide by two, but we, uh, we have war. So our calculation as of uh, 2022 was uh, uh, like this. Uh, and. Uh, and Andre is doing this uh, right now as for the staff. Uh, so this is uh, also recommendations uh, from, f 
from international SCI, um, SC, SC society, if we speak about uh, for 50 or 100 uh, patients, uh, so we we understand that this is the, the place where the rehabilitation people are living, plus the patients, uh, and um, and if we speak about the uh, correct uh, things, uh, that uh, the assistance should be quality and um, safe, and so and so. And this is in addition. So as we look at uh, our support, uh, it started um, in May 2022, uh, supported by the government of the UK, and uh, then multidisciplinary team um, was involved. Um, so this is the geography, Te uh, six uh, countries, uh, 10 people, our coordinator from India, and uh, quite a good uh, geography, and uh, the colleagues uh, which were, who were well involved, uh, they are thankful a lot, uh, and we, uh, we are thankful because they love the Ukraine, uh, they want to help us, uh, and now we look at how can we involve them in other projects, in other locations, uh, and uh, we think uh, Ruth, uh, she um, joined this um, program, and so uh, we have a uh, uh, sixth country, Germany, and uh, that's uh, how this team was looking you if you understand that this was the unique uh, experience nobody uh, introduced it in uh, the world when you delegate uh, more than five uh, specialists uh, for rehabilitation at the same time so you see the full-scale uh, team uh, so uh, occupational nurses psychologists uh, ergo Mm, physiotherapist and uh, physi physiotherapist. So, all these uh, people were working all together with five uh, interpreters because they work with their partners uh, on the uh, field, and, and they know the specialist just, uh, just. Uh, personally so we just uh, in involved a uh, special uh, vehicle to transport the spinal rehabilitation alliance and uh, then uh, we launched uh, the laboratory of eurodynamics uh, that's why we gathered uh, thanks uh, to lilia thank, uh, thanks thanks uh, to root uh, for this uh, continuation and our new partners uh, joined uh, rasm for ukraine and uh, as of today we are in the third phase of support when we speak about the continuation of uh, this uh, center in uh, this uh, low format uh, um, way but now we needed to develop a regional center what are the challenges the challenges you know them uh, so the staff of for rehabilitation then the experience uh, how to <coughs> work in uh, a multidisciplinary team another challenge not for even but uh, for other regions uh, when uh, the uh, uh, health administrators they don't uh, know what is a uh, rehabilitation in a modern way so it's our task to to, to tell them what it is about uh, so that uh, they would um, help um, from their side so aspects uh, for finances uh, as we said uh, absence of uh, rehabilitation uh, um, records uh, wheelchairs and so and so and so but these are the main ones and uh, as for our tasks uh, and uh, WHO for, uh, for this year, so we, despite the war, we had uh, last year the boom of rehabilitation congresses, is, if you remember. And we wanted to continue to, co to involve us uh, already, and uh, we see the second uh, uh, therapist uh, second therapist uh, and we will continue and uh, there are two workshops uh, from uh, ukraine and then the national congress of uh, physical rehabilitation medicine and uh, we plan with our partners uh, um, 
to run the first uh, uh, rehabilitation congress uh, for, for SCIs, and we will continue as a Eurodynamic uh, researchers, which is uh, basically on this uh, uh, location right now. So, and um, uh, also call for you. Um, we, uh, if you want to do the history of rehabilitation in Ukraine, do it. Uh, and thank you. Uh, thank you, and uh, I invite uh, for floor uh, Irina Gudima, uh, charitable fund uh, Razum for Ukraine. So, first of all, I would like uh, to thank uh, all who are here, to, who joined us, uh, and uh, thank uh, the administration of uh, Clement uh, Hospital uh, in the person of the manager of the hospital, Andrei Ivanovich, uh, who so kindly uh, accepted us here. So, I am the program manager, Razum for Ukraine, and I work in, in the health uh, uh, field uh, a bit about organization, and then I will uh, tell you why we are here. Uh, Razum for Ukraine was uh, founded in uh, um, 2014 after the Dignity Revolution and uh, by the diaspora from New York and uh, and uh, we have uh, a big representation in Ukraine with the main uh, office in Kiev, a bit of our mission. So we always uh, focused on Ukraine. Our mission is uh, uh, the following. It is uh, very simple. It is uh, to uh, to support uh, the principles of revolution of dignity and uh, support uh, the development of uh, prosperous and uh, democratic Ukraine. We do it through different uh, things, uh, through advocacy. Uh, we have relevant uh, programs. Uh, I will tell you more and. Uh, uh, and uh, and the results uh, of our 10 years, uh, uh, this is uh, the whole team uh, who works on this uh, mission. In 10 years, uh, we um, have uh, more than 260,000 uh, volunteers and donors. Uh, we invested uh, more than 100 million dollars uh, through five uh, programs, and uh, we are functioning for 10 years. And uh, the programs are uh, RASM. We are doing advocacy. We have the team uh, working in uh, the in Washington D.C. Uh, and um, we support uh, the first uh, responders and uh, the front line uh, RASM for health. Uh, we are focused on uh, development of uh, modern um, health um, services and. Uh, that are uh, used now and after the war. Uh, so, a razum for victory. Uh, it's uh, for the public organizations who support uh, the uh, population which uh, which suffered from the invasion, and uh, also the program for art uh, in the United States. So, razum for health. Mm. Our program is uh, to build uh, the modern health uh, system that will serve today and after the victory. And uh, the aim uh, is uh, to teach uh, and help uh, that Ukrainian uh, doctors would uh, learn. Uh, of course, uh, there are uh, thousands of people who need uh, medical uh, care and uh, international uh, support is uh, very valuable, but uh, it will never be enough. Uh, so our main task uh, is to help uh, to teach Ukrainian doctors and uh, uh, nurses uh, to uh, let them become leaders in their fields uh, and uh, help them to treat uh, the patients better and uh, spread the, their knowledge. And uh, how do we do this? Uh, we um, we look uh, for a search uh, for uh, 
global level doctors in Ukraine and find hospitals where they can be accommodated. We we provide the technical materials and we support uh, um, training of Ukrainian doctors uh, abroad uh, and uh, uh, during our program of uh, this medical program uh, we had uh, almost uh, 60 uh, doctors who participate in such uh, exchange a bit uh, about uh, results in figures in 2023 we organized 14 such missions 112 doctors and medical um, professionals uh, took part uh, in the program we had uh, 321 operations uh, in Ukraine and uh, we helped uh, more than 1,500 uh, clients 245 uh, surgeons uh, who participated in trainings we have the trainings online and offline in different uh, hospitals in Ukraine in Kiev, uh, Lvov, in Wafrankivsk, uh, Dnipro and now in Rivne already and uh, 24 hospitals we are the partners with uh, and uh, more than 8,500 hours uh, of volunteering of our doctors and volunteers in Europe and the US so seven mission observation missions were uh, U.S. Uh, hospitals uh, received uh, Ukrainian uh, doctors uh, for training. And what are our specializations? Uh, mental health, uh, plastic reconstruction, uh, microsurgery, uh, um, eye pl surgery, uh, plastic plastic medicine and uh, oncology these are the aims of uh, for this uh, year and uh, and uh, actually I come why we are here this is a uh, uh, neurology and uh, the dynamic it's dynamics uh, everyone knows uh, has uh, lots of problems in Ukraine including the absence of uh, experience and uh, absence of uh, appropriate equipment uh, last uh, uh, autumn we created the partnership uh, together with uh, WHO and uh, and Dr. Ruth uh, who is uh, from Germany and uh, she is very famous and well known in the world and uh, she is today here and um, she is working with very high and uh, personal motivation and we wanted to cover these gaps and introduce uh, in, modern practices and uh, assure um, the training of medical uh, professionals um, and uh, the first uh, center was uh, created in November last year and since then uh, there were uh, weekly calls uh, it was all for one uh, aim to improve uh, the treatment uh, of a patient of SCI patients and improve their lives and uh, um, length of their lives specialized diagnostics uh, is uh, uh, very important uh, for um, prevention of um, damage to upper um, uh, urinary tract uh, and uh, the health of uh, bladder so next our step is uh, the better treatment of uh, bladder according to international standards in uh, neuro urology and we want to sp uh, split uh, um, spread this uh, knowledge in other rehabilitation centers in ukraine and uh, and i would like uh, to uh, bring you back uh, to our main uh, task uh, is uh, to improve uh, the lives of the patients uh, who are in Ukraine and the story of every patient is uh, the sto story of uh, resilience uh, so we help uh, the people to bring back their identity to feel themselves uh, integral and uh, to come back uh, to their lives uh, with dignity and um, I think that uh, it's a mission of all of us uh, here and uh, I'm finishing here and give the floor to uh, Andrei Ivanovich Thank you. 
As uh, for our uh, uh, working plan uh, at 11, we have coffee break, but uh, very fast I will tell you about the hospital and uh, I will invite you for the coffee. Rivna Regional Hospital Veterans of Voice uh, Communal Enterprise of Rivna Regional Council. Just a second, the photo is about to open. Territory of the hospital is 12 hectares, three big buildings in the territory of uh, facility, three inpatient uh, department, and 41 cottage houses used for treatment and rehabilitation of our patients. The capacity of hospital 240 beds, from then uh, emergency care, six beds, surgery with urology and uh, traumatology, 34 beds, uh, 50 beds therapeutic department, 50 beds, neurologic department, and 100 beds, um, physical rehabilitation medicine, uh, our main area of activity today is providing rehabilitation assistance to patients with the spinal cord injuries. First, uh, patients with uh, consequences of severe uh, brain and uh, spinal cord injuries we started receiving in 2014. Back then, we did not know about such rehabilitation. We were learning together with our patients. Uh, with time, with the patients outside Ukraine uh, undergoing rehabilitation treatment, came here, told us how to do it better here. Thus, we adapted our department, our facilities, our buildings, our rooms better to provide more quality rehabilitation assistance here and uh, with support of Ministry of Health in 2018 we created first a uh, department that was called but then neuro rehabilitation department severe consequences of uh, severe uh, cranial and spinal cord injuries so we started the work then like multidisciplinary work and continue providing assistance to our patients we adapted the uh, wards each ward uh, since then has video surveillance uh, um, um, button to call healthcare uh, personnel and access of uh, patients to all the necessary. We also unified all the buildings into unified uh, system, provided with elevators uh, to move comfortably between uh, floors. This improved accessibility for all the uh, physical rehabilitation assistance to all of our patients. Also in parallel we were creating conditions for rehabilitation both um, treatment procedures and also psychological and physical rehabilitation today we have several rehabilitation rooms that are smallest there are big uh, room a big swimming pool high-tech equipment like locker mods for providing assistance you will be able to see all of that in real not only on slides cooperation with WHO since 2022 from month of November extremely active uh, collaboration with the WHO as it was mentioned by previous uh, presenters uh, using the facilities of our hospital till today uh, within the year uh, shift uh, method uh, road health organization specialists work constantly from different countries of the world more than 10 countries of the world that stayed for some period of time here they were training our specialists and providing assistance to our patients and also with the help of world health organization at the expense of british uh, government improvement of material and uh, technical facilities was performed we have created assistive technologies room, we created um, possibilities to train how to use wheelchair to train uh, patients with processes. Also at this money we bought 200 wheelchairs for training with further transfer to the patients. 
of those wheelchairs to use um, continuously. You'll also be able to see all of that today. Our, our perspective is building and you building. You see today a big uh, construction is on the way, it's going to be a new building. If you may turn this on, place is going to be a big building, 11,000 square meters, uh, two floor, big uh, meeting room, one other 200 uh, seats, big uh, incoming uh, department, uh, improving our capacity of uh, inpatient beds, 100. Uh, patients, also additional rooms for better rehabilitation, improved process of uh, treatment of patients uh, requiring rehabilitation, surgical uh, block is uh, planned, uh, this possibility of invasive and non-invasive manipulations to restore the lost, the partial loss to functions of spinal cord supported by World Health Organization, Ministry of Health of Ukraine. I'm convinced that the National Center for Spinal Cord uh, Treatment is going to be. Thank you. Thank you everyone for the first part and invite everyone please enjoy the coffee.